Hello, I'm Jerry Cottle, and I saw my first circus when I was um, eight years old, and I kind of fell in love with it then. I, I'm still in love with it now, nearly 60 years later. I was lucky where I lived because there was a, a, a permanent circus at Chessington Zoo. It's called Chessington Zoo. It's now called Chessington Land of Adventures or World of Adventures. And they had a family circus there. So every weekend from when I was about 11, I used to go there. And that's where I learned to juggle and I learned unicycle and various skills. And I just, right for the first circus, I knew what I wanted to do. And I think that's where I was very lucky. I think that's the biggest trouble with young people. M my personal feeling is they don't know what they want to do. I just got a bit bored in the evening, so we started the circus school where all these local kids come down. When I look back, it was quite awful the first year, really. You know, they hadn't had time to learn a lot. And we spent the whole summer going, smile. You know, spent our life trying to get them to smile. And they've come on very well. A lot of them are very talented now, you know, and um, we've had great fun and we change the show all the time. And, uh, you know, it's now eight years we've been, four years we've been in the circus school. And I kind of thought, if I don't do another circus now, and I, I'm quite fed up. The circuses, there's still 28 circuses in this country, but I would say only six or eight of them are any good. And, you know, they're quite sad, really. They took the animals out of them, and they've not replaced it with anything interesting. So, um, you know, I just decided to have another go. Some of the girls who have been here for sort of the past five years, and then along the way, they've, other people have joined, and then, obviously, they train three days a week. So you start to know people really well, so this is kind of almost like a family going on tour, more than anything. With, with me, I was born into it. I, I didn't choose this, it just sort of happened to me. It's all I've ever done. The idea of doing something else, I suppose it's a little bit frightening, because I've never actually, I'm not used to it. It's completely different for me. I. I would like to do other things later on, you know, you try everything, don't you, you do everything, but at the moment I love entertaining, you know, I absolutely love being in the ring and I love sort of being the centre of it and it, it just, it gives you a rush. To, like, there is arguments, I'm not going to say, oh, it's all lovely, you make friends for life, you, you do, because you're living and working together, you can't, you can't say, like, you have a breakup like I did, you can't just get away from that person, you have to do the show with them. Yeah. I mean, this is a lovely couple! Oh. Uh, you, they met doing circus school, didn't you? Did you meet during, yeah, doing did, circus? Yeah, they met during circus. And he's a man, she's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it kind, of, it kind of clicked. And they're going to be going on tour together now, so it's all sweet. And... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As you get to see each other every day for eight months. <laughs> It's going to be fun. Drama. Trust me, on the circus, it is like East End. Oh, God, yeah. The people, oh, did you see her coming out of his caravan last night? And yeah. Did you Did you see, oh, oh, God, he said that to, you know, and because that's your life, that that's, everyone's so interested and you've got no secrets. I mean, oh God, it's no. scary how you've not got It's anything. mad. You've got absolutely zero personal life on a circus. For some reason, no matter what you do, everything comes out. Absolutely everything. We let all the boys do the work and we're here bitching about them. Yeah. <laughs> Basically all we they, uh, they, they did nothing yesterday and they had a shower before us, which was fantastic. It's always good. Good for the team spirit, you know what I mean? But I do love them. I got you a glass of water and she's making you coffee. Pink Circus, your granddad is Jerry Cole. <coughs> so you've kind of had no choice. Well, no, I have. I've, I've, <laughs> you have Believe to. Or not, I, see, no, I, don't, I did dance for, I've danced for like the last four years. I've only literally been doing circus for, what, eight months now? Yeah. I've just purely done it for, because I'm, I wanted to be, I'm bored of college, I wanted to be on the stage, so I thought circus would be good fun for a few years. Because, yeah, I've grown up with the family, yeah. so I know a it's lot quite of nice family for us, here, yeah. yeah, and... We don't know each other's families, yeah, so that's and kind like of what some, circus is like. We've got another couple of artists you make coming friends next so Sunday, quickly. and I've worked with them a couple of times, so I know them, so, yeah. yeah. It's all one big party, really. Yeah. <laughs> so we, I've been drinking vodka for a long time. <laughs> okay.
Yeah, well, we're here now. We obviously were building up. Hopefully, that's going to be done by tomorrow. Um, or today, hopefully. I'm not too sure. And then we either start rehearsals tomorrow afternoon or Wednesday morning. And then we're just going to do some training, run through the show, and just do what you guys watch us do at Wookie, really, and just keep running and running and running the show. Um, we'll have a dress rehearsal probably next Tuesday, next Wednesday, and then open for the big night Thursday. Um, I'm the singer. Um, I do a little bit of magic. And um, I do some comedy as well. I do clowning with the boys. My dad comes from like generations of circus family. My mum, the same, like generations, and they they met. Like, my mum and dad met when my mum was 16 and she fell in love with him straight away. But due to them ha them working on different circuses, they didn't get together until my mum was 35. And then they got married, had me. They, ha they actually had their wedding reception at Jerry Cottle's old farm, which was really cute. Three, two, and then, yeah, and then I started working when I was three. On my third birthday, I started working, but uh, like on my first birthday, I went into the ring in the finale. Cause most most circus kids on the birthday they just get pushed into the finale, and yeah, I started working when I was three. I finished when I was eleven to go to school, then college, then university. <clears throat> Came out of university with my degree and went right. I'm going back to circus. That's it. My tutors went absolutely crazy. <laughs> Like, why have you spent three years at uni when you know you're going back to circus? But circus might not be around forever. I hope it is, because it's something that I love and it's something that I will always want to do. But if it's not, I do have the backup plan of... I've got qualifications, so... So many circus are, circuses are closing due to people not coming to see it. Because at the end of the day, if there aren't people in the tent, there's no money coming in, there's no money being put back into the circus. It's, it's like any business. It, if there's no money coming in, there's nothing we can do about it. It's just gonna have to close. We are now proud to present a very unique and dangerous act. And it's getting to a wider audience of people saying, don't go to the circus. And that's what we're sort of fighting to say, no, come see us, have your own opinion, don't, don't follow, don't be a sheep and follow everybody, just make up your own opinions. If you don't like it, you don't like it, if you do, come back. But I hope it stays for a long time. I'd love for my kids and their kids and their kids after that to be in circus. The main worry with travelling circus is making it pay. You know, it's a very human business. There's lots and lots of people. You need every one of them if you're going to do a good show. Um, you know, you, you need the workers who are going to be working day and night when we come to move. And it is getting bums on seats, really, to make it pay. And, um, you know, we're in tough times, I think. But, I mean, you know, I've done it all before. At the moment, everybody's getting on fine. And I think they will get on fine. I don't think there's a problem. I mean, I always think a circus is very much like a ship, you know. You've got to be in charge, you've got to say no sometimes. We actually say no. Charlie. John, we will change that slowly, but I think now we can't change anymore. We've got the numbers right, we're just gonna put the boards in, some of them, and then we'll just run this show for this weekend and hope it holds itself. You want to preset now? The first half is very fast, and just what I, I, want, I want. The second half is lost it a bit. Uh, we've had like the odd falls off bikes or um, things like the silks just not being able to climb high enough or some of the magic props like falling over and things but just general things that can kind of get sorted and just practice and then it should be okay when we actually go tomorrow so so I'm a little bit nervous actually <laughs> now I probably think about it but you know, it'll be good it'll be good how's everyone getting on yeah really good um really good atmosphere especially like it's not such nice weather we all sit outside have lunch or um we had a barbecue last night even though it was raining and yeah no we all, we all look out for each other as well and helping each other like of course there's days when people are stressed or upset more than others and like we all help look out for each other it is just a big family 
yeah it's it's fun it is it's just fun it's it's you know you, as a child like you might go to a circus and look at it and just be in absolute awe and like now being in one like you my whole life is performing anyway so having people come to a show and watching them leave and be amazed by what you've done or loving it is going to be an amazing feat <laughs> I'm alright, but I've lost my skates. They were tied together and I don't have a clue where they are, so I've got half an hour, so I'm gonna go and try and find them, okay? Oh, How are you all feeling, by the way? Shit myself. Nervous. <laughs> Quite nervous. Sorry. Yeah. Really scared. Just told me that the queue yeah, it's going yeah, right it's back across across the field, is across yeah. the field and near enough to the sea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 How long's left to the show? Like 20 minutes. I'll be fine then. We've got a spare pair. We'll fix a spare pair and I'll man up and use those for today. <laughs> I woke up this morning and nothing came out. Like nothing. So I've been drinking honey and lemon all day. It's ridiculous how tall you are. It's going better than the rehearsals were. <laughs>